All right, welcome back to Grob.2U.com, the Grob Chess Club, and we are continuing our lecture on Ken Wallach versus Les Kistler, 2001. Uh, White's last move was knight from 1 to e2 to protect c3. The threat here is that if uh, White allows black to go to c3, the knight is attacking the rook on uh, d1, and then he's going to have to move it, and then White can follow up with rook to a2, uh, getting the queen. So, the next move that white play, uh, black plays is a very nice one. He plays bishop takes c4. Uh, an excellent move. And then um, he decides to take back with the pawn. Uh, even worse, that was not a good move, even worse would be to take with queen. Les says queen takes c4 question mark, followed by rook d check, king e1, rook takes d1 and the king can't, uh, can't take the rook back because then black has this nice move knight to b2 check and I have no doubt that Les saw all this beforehand it's, uh, he's a very strong player so instead white opts for taking with the pawn b takes c4 and then now b3 we're gonna see that pawn's power now uh, queen b1 and now very nice move queen a5 check king e3 and now queen c5 check uh, and this is just to not allow the king to escape to f2. If he can get to f2, maybe white has some chances here. It's it's very unlikely, but uh, you know maybe in some dream world. So, king runs to d2, rook d check, uh, and Les writes this is probably the simplest. The white rook on d1 was important in defense, so I exchange it with one of my unused pieces. Very nice thought. So king to e1, rook d1 check. Queen takes b1, uh, d1, and now b2. And the threat, if you haven't seen anything like this before, is that if white does, does nothing, uh, then you play rook a1 check, uh, or rook, a, rook to a1, and then um, the queen can't take the rook because then the pawn will queen. And even if you don't take it, uh, you can't move the queen, so you're going to lose that queen no matter what. Which is why white probably plays his next move. Queen takes a4. Um, and Les writes that now it's over. Probably the only reason that White kept playing was because this was a team match. And in team match, you don't want to uh, give up the game. You usually play it out to the end. So uh, Les takes back with a rook. Uh, he says an insignificant inaccuracy. Um, he's going to win no matter what. But he notes that there was a quicker way to win, which is b1 to queen. And now we're going to see this nice line here. If you'd like, you can pause it here. There's a mate in four. See if you can figure it out. It's a nice little puzzle. All right, if you just unpaused, um, let's see if you got it. So, queen d1, black plays queen b to b4, check. And now queen to d2. The fastest way is rook a1, check. Now knight c1. Queen to e3, check. Uh, and then either bishop e2, uh, if you play bishop e2, then it's rook c1 mate. Or if you play king to d1 here, then the queen on e can take on d2. I, I believe the other one could take as well. Yeah. So, that was in fact the fastest win, but it really doesn't matter because uh, black is up quite a bit of material and uh, he's going to mate very quickly. So, uh, we're just going to show the finish, the finish of this game. Uh, it goes pretty quickly. Uh, knight c3 just to attack the rook and to uh, to guard that square on b1 so the pawn can't queen straight away but after rook a1 like we, we talked about before the king has to run king d2 now the queen uh, knight can take it but obviously we can recapture and now bishop d3 and then now um, there's a mate in six, so if you want to try those puzzles again, uh, you can pause it here, try to find the mate in six. It's a pretty long mate, but who knows, you might be able to find it. Alright. So, alright, if you found that mate, let's see if you got it. Uh, Les plays rook b2 check. Uh, king c1. Uh, now queen a3, a very nice move. Uh, he plays bishop c2. Uh, just to stop, um, like say, if if white does nothing here, uh, the next move would just be queen to a1 mate. So, 
place qu bishop c2, and the point is that if now queen a1, uh, the king can run to d2. It's not going to matter, he's going to lose. But, just for argument's sake. So now queen c3, uh, he can't protect the bishop anymore, so he just runs off to the side. Uh, queen takes c2 check. There's only one move here, uh, and that's king to e1. And then now uh, there's a few mates here, um, and let's just place rook b1 mate. So, Les writes, at the end of this game, John Cole paid me a great compliment when he said to Kevin Fear, with me standing uh, nearby, sometimes Les plays a game that reminds us that we still must fear him. So, I hope you've enjoyed this game. Uh, I want to thank uh, Les Kistler for sending this in. Uh, I really enjoyed the game, and I know that everybody out there watching will too. Uh, and I also want to uh, send uh, a thank you out there to everybody on YouTube who's been subscribing and watching the games. Uh, we're going to keep making them, so as long as you stay tuned. All right. Have a good day.